recording. All right, so to create a bump test, the first thing you need to do is start the, your analyzer and go in the analyzer module. When you're in your analyzer module, you'll click on explore, so it will show you all the file that you have in your module. Uh, I'll show it to you by uh, from scratch, so if you click the three little dots here, you'll have more options, and you will create a machine. And name it, uh, so by to, you, you click on the machine name, you rename it, let's say bump test. You can name it the way you want, doesn't matter. Uh, number of points, so uh, you will use the triaxial sensor, so click on three. Uh, you could use one if you want to use a single axis, but I suggest you a tri the triaxial. Uh, number of group, that's your number of tests. So if you want to do 10 tests, uh, put 10 here, put eight if you want eight tests. Uh, let's put one for now. Uh, the group name, or whatever test you can, you'll see this is the name of your bearing, could be bearing one or you'll see where it goes. So if you re rename this, it, this is your how your point will be named. Uh, there's no speed related to this. Uh, point list, so you uh, the point list selection. So it, it when we will click record, it will record uh, the axial, the horizontal, and the vertical uh, for each, uh, each axis for bearing number one. If I put two groups here, it will be bearing one, bearing two, right? So six points, so let me bring that back to one. And here, there's a template option, so it, it, it asks you to select some template. Uh, normally, you have, it, when you click on the first line here, the template route, you click here, you should have template English. And you can choose any anyone, doesn't really matter. Uh, you, you just need to have one of the spectrum here at the bottom uh, available. So I will keep only one spectrum. So only uh, for in my in in this example it will be the low frequency G. So I leave it as yes, save. And now I have a new machine called Bump Test. If I go, if I click OK, it goes in. Bearing one, uh, my tree axis, how I place my my sensor. I will come here and I will uh, modify this spectrum. So I click three little dots, modify. You can rename it FFT or you can leave it like it was, doesn't really matter. Uh, how do you want your spectrum? So here is, you set your F max uh, that you want. So it tells you here that uh, one average is 0.8 seconds. So you need to kind of uh, set, um, how you can, um, you need to uh, adjust this based on the machine, the time it takes your machine to um, settle down, kind of, from your impact to no more resonance. Um, so you can adjust this. Uh, I would suggest you to put more average than one. Uh, set the uh, overlapping to zero percent. Set like three average. So it, it will ask you to hit the machine three times. So separately, I'll show you. So three it and trigger. Uh, change the trigger source from free to signal. And uh, triggering mode for each average. So for each average, it will wait a certain trigger level to take the acquisition. Let's put 0.5G, so uh, a positive. Yeah. So when it sees 0.5G, so your impact, it will take the acquisition and we will have a delay. So we will have minus 50 millisecond. So there's a pre-trigger. So when it sees the impact in real life, there'll be a pre-recording of 50 millisecond. And there you go, save that and you are ready. So you can take your, uh, you, pl you place your exometer, you, you set the orientation right, you click acquisition and as soon as it sees a, tri uh, a trigger, it takes the acquisition and it does that three times and at the end of the day you will have your spectrum. And uh, that's it.